Hello there, this is Dr. Fateh and today's topic in the series of uh, uh, Secrets of Nature, we will be exploring holography. This tutorial really is, consists of two parts. First, I will, in part one, I will discuss a qualitative uh, uh, demonstration of the uh, recording and reconstructing a hologram. And then in the second part, we will dive into the uh, quantitative or theoretical uh, Method. Just, it's interesting to mention that when holography was invented in 1948, laser was not yet invented. Dennis Gabord uh, invented it only through a mathematical relationship. Twelve years later, when laser was invented, then we could make real holograms. Holography is also called a wavefront reconstruction process. It's indeed a two-step process, recording and reconstructing. In the first part, we will quickly uh, show the uh, method of making it and reconstructing it. I'm going to introduce three beams or waves of light. First, the object beam. It's in the next part, we'll explain as intensity as a function of uh, the coordinate system. Forget For this purpose, right now, we forget it. To which we add a reference beam where they uh, pixel by pixel on the holographic plate displayed here. Uh, we will have a uh, constructive or uh, destructive uh, re uh, uh, composition of the beams of the waves. The third beam that we will be introducing is another laser light called reconstruction beam or field, which leads to the reconstructed beam. That's the one we're going to see. And you're going to see several types of reconstructed beam, actually to be specific, three types. We will have the reconstructed beam itself, which is uh, a true replica of the original image. We will have another reconstructed beam that would be traveling in the direct direction of the reconstruction beam. And finally, a third beam that has got some kind of a funny information about the original object, which we will describe shortly. This is the way we make a, a laser hologram, uh, what we call transmission hologram. The light from the CW laser, continu continuous wave laser, is uh, goes through a series of mirrors and uh, a shutter to fix the exposure to a variable beam splitter to uh, determine the ratio of the reference beam to the object beam. One part of it comes and uh, is expanded and illuminates the original object. Here I'm showing a clock. And uh, please pay attention to the uh, uh, position of the hands on this clock because th this is the how I'm going to differentiate the two beams or this pendant that is shown here that could have been as another object that we will be uh, reconstructing in this uh, demonstration. The reflected object, reflected wave from this object has got both the amplitude and phase information about every point in this object and travels towards the holographic plate determined shown by HP here. The other, the second part of the beam goes through another mirror or set of mirrors and lenses and pinholes and it is expanded and directly shines at an angle to the same beam, to the same holographic plate and the two beams just simply combine. <laughs> and then we will just uh, process the uh, photographic film and uh, put it back uh, and try to reconstruct it. So without the reference beam, this is the, what we have in the object beam in the illumination of it. And without the object beam, after we process the hologram and place it back where it was, we simply shine the holographic plate with a similar beam as the reference beam. This time we could just, for all practice or practical purposes, we could remove the object and uh, as it is for viewing the hologram, there is no object. We are simply shining in there. And now what do you think it's going to happen? What happens is that if we look at the three beams, would be this. Uh, if we put our eyes where I'm showing right now, we will view the uh, some uh, very unpleasant uh, shapes or objects as they're in a direction of illumination. There's nothing. Uh, I call that the, a noise or DC component of the beam. 
and in a theoretical description in the next series, next uh, part of this uh, lecture, you will see that what that means. Then there is another beam that is uh, diffracted by the hologram in the direction as the original beam was coming. So when you look at it in this, you bring your eyes down and look at the hologram in this direction, you will see the original object, this clock or the pendant that uh, was at one point in there and right now is not there. So you see the hologram. This looks exactly like uh, the original object. Again, pay attention to the position of the hands. And in this one, look at the eye. It is uh, what let me call it right shape. This is called the principal image. The principal image is exact replica of the original object with both information of amplitude and phase for every point. The third image that you would see is that funny one or weird one. You will see in a direction at uh, twice the angle of the reference beam, another object, which we call the complex conjugate image. And complex conjugate in the meaning of its mathematical form, which is uh, uh, imaginary um, uh, mathematical form, a complex conjugate of a complex number. And it is, in this hand, now look at the hands in this uh, uh, clock that are showing, uh, weird image, but it's a better way. What a uh, complex conjugate conveys is that all the phase information is negative. In other words, if some, pl some point was closer to your eye, now this time is further apart, or the phase advances are converted to phase delay and so on. So if you look at the eye that I was showing to you in that pendant, and this is re from real hologram now that I've, I've illuminated it such that the, um, the um, complex uh, conjugate image is shown, it is uh, showing that all the bulges have been converted to concavity and vice versa. So the eye uh, or by eye pupil, instead of appearing to be bulging out, is caving in and, and so on. So uh, this is a qualitative meaning of a complex conjugate. If you watch the next part of the series, then all of that would make sense in mathematical form. And uh, I invite you to... Uh, Enjoy it. Thank you.